we shall learn server side validation in mvc forms how to perform validation in an mvc application on the server side we shall take up client side validation in a later chapter today we are worrying only about the server side validation let us see how to do it before proceeding further let us see what application do we have till now in the last lecture we created this application html dot begin form editor for model so this one is responsible for generating your user interface the text boxes for phone and username and corresponding to this form you have two action methods create record for the get request which displays the empty form and create record for the post request where the data is posted so this is what we have already done in our previous lecture so this is our create record basic form this is the controller and now we begin how to add server side validation the trick is to use annotations on the model so this is our model i'll fold it back here this is our model so now let us have a look at how we have done it here this is the first property username on it we have put two annotations the first one is required error message is please supply this one means that this data is compulsory just like you have required field validators in mvc in asp.net so to mark a field as required or compulsory you should use the required annotation you can see it here also user phone has been marked as required this means that phone number is a compulsory thing then we have also written error message is please supply so this is the validation message that will appear if the user doesn't supply the phone number here also same thing if the user doesn't supply the name then the error message please supply will be flashed now username can have a maximum length also you can put it in the annotation string length 50 this will ensure that username property will not have its length exceeding 50 characters Fifty is the upper limit, but you can also specify lower limit, minimum length, and even the error message that will appear if the length type is great, type is greater than fifty. And we have done it here. String length, string length. Phone number has a string length of ten, maximum characters ten. but we can put comma separated more properties can be added minimum length is 10 and even a custom error message so what i would say is that the first step in incorporating validation on the server side is to add annotations the complete documentation will be referred to you by you you can refer the complete documentation for all the various annotations that are available 